the magic ring, chain two, and then do five double crochets. Chain one, and do five more double crochets down the other side of the magic ring. In magic ring, chain two, one, two. Do five double crochets, and then a chain one. Then five more double crochets down the other side. Tighten the magic ring and slip stitch to the second chain. Two single crochets in each of the double crochets. In the chain one space, do a half double, chain three, single crochet in that third chain, and another half double, and then two more single crochets in each of the double crochets. Two single crochets in each of the five double crochets, tucking the tail as you go. In the chain one space, half double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the third chain from the hook, and another half double crochet. Two single crochets in the remaining five double crochets down the other side. Slip stitch to the first single crochet, fasten off and leave a tail for sewing. For the rows, chain 29. Then you will double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. Then you'll skip two and double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You'll repeat that V stitch to the other end of the chain with the last one being in the chain with the knot. Chain 29, and then do a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. Skip two chain, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the same spot. Skip two and continue doing V stitches to the other end of the chain. The last double crochet, chain one, double crochet, will be in the chain with the knot. Turn your work and you'll do five half double crochets in each chain one space with a slip stitch between the V's all the way across. In the last V, you will do five half double crochets, a chain two, and a slip stitch in the same space. Five half double crochets in the chain one space, and a slip stitch between the Vs. Five half doubles in the chain one space and slip stitch between the V's. In the last space, you'll do five half doubles, a chain two, and then a slip stitch in the same space. Fasten off and leave a tail for sewing.
then you'll go ahead and roll up the petals to make your rows and then use that tail to secure the bottom and also sew to your project.